Well, hi guys. Today is Saturday the 23rd of December. It's uh, about quarter past three now, as you can see over my shoulder. The sun's just going down behind those trees. Um, the good old BBC forecast heavy cloud, as you can see. It's not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> They're fantastic, aren't they? Um, They've actually said Christmas is going to be on the 28th this year. That's their forecast. That's, that's how accurate they are generally. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't really matter because we're going to fish into dark. Anyway, um, what I'm doing is um, fishing primarily for chub. Although with my fingers very crossed for a barbel. Now, as I've said previously, I've, I've never caught a barbel in this river when the water's below 10 degrees. I tend to turn my attentions elsewhere. I've tried before and failed. However, this year, we've had a, a great year for barbel, haven't we? So, um, I've had plenty out of this swim. So, I've decided to come back here and I'll get back to you in a minute when this helicopter's gone away. Right, that's him gone. Um, so, why am I fishing for barbel and chub? Well, chub obviously, they don't mind the cold weather at all. Barbel. Well, last time you saw me, um, it was snowing, wasn't it? <laughs> What's happened in the previous two weeks, just about been two weeks since then, uh, about a day short of two weeks, the snow all melted, ran into the river, the river came right up with snow, wa snow melt water, obviously, complete waste of time. So I left it alone for a week, uh, for a whole week. And what's happened in the week since then, this last week, is the river's slowly gone down and it's been really mild this week. So, <laughs> I'm getting some bites. <laughs> Not barbel bites, but I'm sure it's chub. <laughs> so, um, the water temperature's come up. Now it's actually up to eight degrees, um, according to my thermometer here. Um, I think it was down as low as four, mid fours. So it's come up, which has prompted me to go fishing this week as well, a few times, because I've been off work. Uh, anyway, I'll come on to that um, in, a, in a short while. We'll have a chat about what I've been doing. But that's, that's the thinking. The river at the moment, it's probably still up a little bit. Um, it's just got a nice pace to it. Uh, it's got a nice color to it as well. Um, so I've come to my banker swim, which I haven't been in for quite a while now. Um, really lightly ground baited it with some hemp in. Um, I've got one rod on maggot feeder at the moment. And that, the idea of that really was just to find out what's going on. Because so as I've said previously, if the little ones are smashing you up on maggots, you can generally get uh, get some big ones as well. But if you can't get a bite on maggots, generally speaking, you're going to struggle. Um, however, on the other rod, I've got a cheesy garlic oozing pellet, Sonia Bates, and I've had two big clangs on that, uh, which I'm sure is chub because it's uh, it's on one of my bait spikes. However, I have got some cheese paste which I can put straight on the hook because I know ch uh, the chub are pretty renowned, aren't they? For just taking the bait in their lips and swimming off and then the tension just pulls it out um, if you're hair rigging it and the hook's not in their mouth so you really need the hook inside the bait so if that carries on I'll, I'll change over um, another reason that's prompted me to do it is uh, I keep mentioning my mate Harry hi Harry he um, fishes a few miles upstream from here and he fished on Wednesday um, and he had two barbel out one at dawn and one at dusk so they obviously are feeding, although the place he fishes is is a real nice barbly stretch. I think it's been likened to a sort of miniature Y. <laughs> so um, we've got a chance, we've got a chance, but I'll be quite happy to catch a few chub, to be honest with you. Um, be, be really happy, it's two days before Christmas, I'll be really happy. Anyway, I'm gonna check these baits, I'm gonna recast and uh, I'll get back to you in a second and we'll have a chat uh, about what's been happening this last week. So guys, uh, after those couple of clangs, um, 
I've put the one rod now on the krill with a paste wrap on it. Nothing's touched the maggots at all. Um, so I've taken that off and uh, I've put some cheese paste on there um, directly on the hook just with a point showing. Um, just some cheese paste I knocked up at home. So what's been happening for the last week? Well last weekend um, it was really really cold. Uh, it's still cold after the snow and I decided that as all the uh, roach and rudd were shoaled up in the sort of where the, the marinery bit where the boats are here just above the lock where I'd been catching them thought perhaps I'd do a bit of dead baiting there so I went down for a couple of hours just just sort of at dusk um, and took the float rod as well just to see if I could catch a few more roach really just keep me occupied whilst I was doing a bit of dead baiting um, and uh, things were actually quite lively I was catching a few roach um, and a zander about oh, I don't know a fisherman's tails just cut a pound maybe I'm flying out from under a boat and all the fry scattered and the roach went out of the water uh, but unfortunately I didn't manage to catch it I managed to catch a jack um, probably I don't know two three pounds something like that but uh, you know at least caught something uh, add some lice or or uh, I don't know, leeches, well, they weren't leeches, but something like that on him, um, which I've got off for it. I presume that was the best thing to do. So I flicked them off for him. Um, so we went off home. And then, as I say, the, the weather's got a lot milder since. So what we've done, um, I should say what I've done, because Anastasia's staying in the warm, <laughs> is I decided um, the best thing to do would be fish, to fish for chub, um, because the, the water still wasn't very warm. Um, and it was coloured and very coloured I should say. Um, now last season when I didn't have a very good season all up in this stretch uh, I ended up fishing right down the bottom of this stretch probably about a mile down that way literally a mile. Um, so I went off down there and it's a bit of a mission down, to get down there it's through various barriers and gates and then you have to carry your gear uh, at quite a distance so it's real muddy as well, I nearly got the car stuck. <laughs> but I went off down there for a session one evening, um, just to see if I can't, couldn't get any chub out. Anyway, I was right, I couldn't get any chub out. <laughs> I must have had four or five really good bites. Um, swimming out to fish before, I'd had a couple of, uh, a couple of four or five pounders out one night there. Um, anyway, so I fished, and I had these lo some lovely slamming bites, but you know, as with chub, I've got baits on spikes, um, not on the hook. Um, I didn't manage to connect with anything, so stupid me, bad angling. I hadn't got my cheese paste with me because I'd gone to the bottom of the freezer and I must have thrown it away. Um, so, bad angling, I went without that and, and paid the price, I'm afraid. So anyway, the, the river was continued to drop, the water temperature was continued to come up. Now. I should say as well, I've never really done much good on the here when it's fining down at all. Um, but I thought, you know, we'll give it a go. The next time I could go was the f uh, not the next morning, but the morning after, which would be Thursday morning. So I got on my paste and took my paste with me. Brilliant, it's going to be great. Got some worms as well. And I thought we might even get a perch out, you know, it's lovely conditions. <sighs> Place was dead, <laughs> absolutely dead. I didn't see a single fish, didn't see a fish in the edge, nothing topped, absolutely nothing. I had one tiny little twitch, just as the sun was coming up, and that was it. Nothing else at all. Uh, I fished till 12, I roamed about, I must have fished 8 or 10 swims. Tried everything except dynamite, and nothing, absolutely nothing. I could not get a bite on a single maggot. Um, on a size 18 hook, nothing. They were not having it at all. So I knocked that on the head and thought, right, I'm not going again until the river's pretty much back down to normal, which it is now. Um, and like I say, the temperatures come right up. So I thought, okay, we've got a chance of a barbel. We'll go to the barbel swim. I know I've kept some chub in here as well. So we'll hedge our bets, one rod on cheese paste, one rod more, more barbed orientated and, and see what we can do so that's where we are where we are now guys um, I think the frost to due I mean obviously tomorrow's Christmas Eve got kids won't be coming out tomorrow evening and neither Christmas Day 
uh, and, and Christmas Day night, or Christmas night, I suppose you'd call it, um, the frosts are back, so the water temperature is going to go down again. So really tonight is last chance saloon, I think, for Barble, certainly for the foreseeable future. Um, and to be honest, I couldn't pick better conditions. I'd have had the water temperature stable a little bit more than it is. It's been, it's been coming up, which I haven't found good this year either. Um, and I checked it on b -b 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 Thursday morning and it was about seven and a half uh, and it's eight now, so it, it's fairly stable. Um, so hopefully one of these, uh, one of these barble or, uh, or chub will fancy uh, having their photo taken and, uh, and being on uh, YouTube. I know um, Harry was telling me he had one right at dawn, as soon as he cast in, and then right last knocking, because he, he's not allowed to night fish his stretch, they're really, really strict where he fishes. And uh, I think they caught one member a couple of months ago, and that was it, he was kicked out of the club. Uh, so they don't mess about, so Harry has to be off when it gets dark, and that's it. Uh, and he had one right last knockings. So, um, true to form on here, the barbel really are just at that transitional period in the morning and the evening uh, is when, when you get bites from so and I've just had another knock and I've missed that <laughs> talking to you right I'm going to shut up and concentrate on what I'm doing and I might actually catch some fish um, although having said that I missed all those bites the other night and I noticed on some of them on the footage you probably just noticed it that uh, the years are catching up with me and I'm a bit slower than I used to be <laughs> and I'm hitting some of these bites when their tips coming back round no wonder I'm not catching them Anyway, I need to concentrate. I'll catch you in a minute.
Wilco's were in. <laughs> Feels very chubby. Chub in the net. <laughs> well, guys, uh, that's brilliant. We've got a chub. Fantastic. Uh, really pleased with that. Really pleased. Uh, and on my homemade cheese paste as well, which is even better. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's gone really, really cold. Um, it's about five degrees. They, they forecast it to be 10, but I guess uh, <laughs> that was before the, the sky cleared. Anyway, what's happened is, um, I was fishing over the bait, um, nothing really happening. Um, and three times, um, about 20 meters downstream just as it was getting dark and um, as it got dark there was some splashing on the top and I thought uh, and I know from past experience quite often here that that will be chub taking stuff off the top or because um, I've actually fed them with bread here I put the lock so I do know they come to the top at dusk so I thought well why not so I uh, chucked a feeder with cheese paste on the hook over to where I'd been hearing the, the splashing. Um, had a quite gentle bite, struck, missed it. Had another fairly gentle bite, five minutes later, struck, missed that. The third time, I left it a little bit longer because it's a decent size lump of cheese paste on a size six. And uh, we managed to get this fella. <laughs> How's about that? That's fantastic. I'm really, really pleased. It's absolutely beautiful condition. Got a big belly on him. <laughs> but that's wonderful. Really, really pleased. Sat it out and sat it out and sat it out. And eventually, <laughs> this fella has graced the bank. Saw a fish, heard a fish top, covered it, and there we go. It's not a monster, is it? A three pound or something? Maybe pushing four, perhaps? I don't really mind. It's mint condition. There's the other side. It's doing a very good job of avoiding the otter, which is brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. And as I say, on my own cheese paste, homemade cheese paste. Over the moon. Right, it's just about quarter to six now, so uh, I was going home at six anyway. So that's time things lovely so once again thanks very much for watching tight lines enjoy your own angling and i will see you again next time